Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We've added a new option to be able to create new coordinate systems on parts by means of transform and rotate to another side. For example, if we have say these six parts over here and I've created my first coordinate system and I'd like to create more coordinate systems on each and every one of them I don't have to do them individual anymore what I can do is if I know the distance between each one of them in the X and Y direction I can simply right click on my first position that I've created over here and click on create transformed copies now I can use the option of translate and in this particular case I want to use the matrix method where I know how many parts I have in X and how many parts I have in Y. Say in X I have two parts as shown over here and in my Y direction I have three parts. Now in my X direction I happen to know the measurement over there because I've measured it before and it is 209 millimeters. Where's my Y step? I know that it's 200 millimeters. By clicking on OK, it now has created more coordinate systems. If I want, I can also continue now and create on the flip side as well. I can take this entire group over here and create them on the other side by simply clicking on fourth axis and we have an angle of 180 degrees, one step, and insert them. You can see now I've added the 180 degrees. What I also have to do is just create around which axis. Now I've created a line over here to determine the exact axis. So we'll click on the vector itself in this particular case. And I'll click on this point over here as my first point. And my second point is the end of the line on the other side over here. Click on that, accept that, and now click on OK. So now I have not only the coordinate systems on these sides over here, but when I click on create, you'll see them created on this side as on the flip side as well. And as you can see, I have now a total of 12 different coordinate systems. Another option that we've added is that we can transform now operations from one coordinate system to another coordinate system. For example, I've created on this particular part, as shown over here, a face mill operation, as shown over here. Now, I'd like to have it on all of these over here as well as on the flip side and as you've seen I've created a coordinate system for each one of them so what I can do right now is right click go to transform and we have the option now of transform via coordinate system if I were to use this option you can see the list of all the coordinate systems as well as include the original operation so I can click on include the original operation and that automatically comes in over here. If I want to check all of these, I can simply click on check all. You can see now that all of the coordinate systems were chosen. If I want, I can even order them in the way I want. For example, if I want to have Mac 3 be before Mac 2, just click on it and click on move up. I can move it down or up to any position I want. I can just leave it there also as well and just click on OK. Accept all of this and now when I click on my toolpath you can see all of the toolpaths were done on those particular coordinate systems. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website www.solidcam.com and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.